Assalamu alaikum dear students my name is Muhammad Asif and welcome to the online video lecture series of visual programming students this is our second week lab number 1 in our previous lab we have covered few topics that is we have introduced the visual studio the ide which will be used for the c sharp language and this uh, visual studio we have learned that how to open a new project within the c sharp language we have also learned about the structure of c sharp language and at the end of that lecture we also compared the structure of c++ and the structure of c sharp inshallah in today's lab class we will be learning and implementing within the visual studio that how to print a simple message using write function and write light function what are these two function we have already discussed in our theory class and next we will be declaring some variable of character integer float string data type then we will be initializing the variables it should be within the source code and during the running time mean dynamic initialization next inshallah we will be introducing the operator used in c sharp for example arithmetic operators comparison operators and logical operator inshallah at the end of this lab we will be also learning the if statements which is very important number 1 if else statement nested if else statement sometime it is called is else if statements inshallah at the end we will also be learning switch statement okay student let's start programming in c sharp first we need to learn that how to print a simple message in c sharp this is single line coming how to print a simple message in c sharp so write console as you can see when i when i start uh, start typing c o n the window is appeared which is called the intellisense intellisense uh, within the c sharp a uh, visual studio you can say it uh, within the studio the intellisense uh, is used to help the programmer if you don't remember the exact spelling of class built in class or function or any variable which is defined by the user so intellisense will always help you as you can see as, as just i uh, just typed a console c o n the console uh, object built in object is already appeared so when there is no need to write the full spelling just click okay the full class or the full spelling will be appeared after this write dot then write write is used to print a message write is used to print a variable write is actually a function which is used to print anything so here you can see there are two function one is write and the second one is write line what is different what is the difference between write and write line i will show you later first write then the starting bracket ending bracket after this we have a semicolon which comes within the right within the parenthesis and double quotation within double quotation write any message as you can welcome to c sharp language so this line is used to print a simple message now let's uh, execute uh, this code Uh, there is a shortcut which is available on a menu strip and you can also compile and run this program using start debugging and there is also a shortcut key which is called f5 if you if, if you press the f5 button it will be it will compile and execute so let's uh, let's execute this code when i click this button the output window window is appear and it is just disappear within a second to stop the output window 
let's add uh, one one more line that is console dot read key read key is a built in function which is used to stop the window until and unless so we press the uh, we press any key now again we have just pressed the execute button and now you see the output window and uh, our message welcome to the c sharp language the output window will be up there uh, will be wait, will be waiting until and unless i we press any button from the keyboard so i just press from my keyboard enter button the output uh, window will be disappear so this is uh, how we have just write a one line code to print a message so this line is used for printing and this line is used to stop output window to stop output window until press and key now uh, let's declare some variables declaration of variables how we will be declaring first uh, write the data type let's say integer and then name of any variable according to these other variables then float f l o a t float y then where is the character z and a new variable as you can say it, a string variable which is used to take string value so these are are the declaration this is how we will be declaring if you can see under the under these variable there is a, a green line green line means this is warning because we have declared the variable but, but we didn't use that variable so now let's initialize static initialization static initialization of the variables we will be writing the name of the variable after this then the assignment operator in any value we want to initialize x and y 3.5 let's say character z single quotation and within the single quotation any alphabet you want to initialize then name is equal to so this is string assignment operator write the double quotation and semicolon within the double quotation write any name let's say a sim so this is how we will be declaring but if you if you see the floating uh, initialization there is a red mark red mark means there is an error Visual Studio is used to compile uh, every line whenever you write that code. So this line mean indicating that there is some error. What is the error? So whenever you declare a static uh, floating point variable, uh, then you must write the F keyword after the value. So once I have given the F then f in float then the error the error is just disappeared okay after the declaration and initialization of the variable now let's how to print these variables write the console dot write write function within the write function put any variable you want to print it so uh, uh, as you can see within the intelligence we have a variable x, y, and z available. It means it can also show you those variable or function which is declared by the user. So this time I just put the x variable to print the value of x and press the execute uh, button. If you can see there is a welcome to C sharp. With, uh, this message we have already uh, printed and now we have a variable, a value of variable x. So, if you want to print this value, 
on the next line you have to write or yeah, you can choose another fun another function that is console dot right right line function right line function again is used to print a variable of a, 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 a message but this line function is used to uh, break the break the line so the right line function is used to print the message or value and also use the cursor as the start of the line while right function only prints the message or we can say of the value now let's execute this code and you will see the difference here now you can clearly see the cursor is now at the start of the second line so let me more clear this for this remove the comments put the line over here and line from this and put x over here and y over there now it will print first the message which is welcome to C sharp then it will print the value of x after printing the value it will come to the start of the next line and print the y now let's see again you you can clearly see welcome to the C sharp then then you can see the value of x the value of x and after applying the line function it put the cursor at the start of the next line and then print the value of y if you again if i put the line function at the start of this right function line and it, it will also break the line now you can clearly see welcome to c sharp after this terminate this line and bring the cursor over here and print the value of x and then the value of y so this is the main difference between the right line function and the right function that right function is only used to print the value or the message whereas the right line function is used to print the message or value but also bring the cursor at the start of the next line okay after the declaration and initialization now let's come uh, towards that uh, how to take a value from a user during running time so let me first comment this code now print a message to the user group and ask him for the value and say integer value now how to initialize the value first put the variable in which you are storing the value then write the console dot uh, uh, read line read line function will be used to take a value from the user but if you can see uh, there is a red line shown it means there is some error what is the error so students whenever we will be taking a value from a user during running time the c sharp will consider that way, that value as a string value but this time we are taking it as a uh, as a integer value so we will be converting that value into the integer or float accordingly so again if uh, the, the if you are taking a value from a user during a running time c sharp always consider any value whether it is a string value or integer value or character value they always consider it as a string value so what to do we have to convert that that string into the into the integer or float or you can say it into the character accordingly so this time we are taking it as a um, integer so we will be converting this value so how to convert the parse function will be used how to use this function let's see integer so 
within the intelligence you can see there is a int, uh, int 16 and 32 64 it means how many bits you want to reserve for for this value so this time i am uh, using 32 dot parse parse is a built-in function again which is used to convert the string value into the integer or float so and within the parse we are uh, passing the, uh, the the read line function as a argument so with the help of read read line function we will be taking the value then it will be converting the value using parse function into the integer and storing it into the x now again console dot write line again put a message and set float value again write the name of the variable assignment operator then we will be because again it is a float value and the compiler will be considering it as a string value so we will be convert into the float how to convert write the float dot parse function will always be used for the conversion and then as an argument write console dot read line function so using read line you will be taking a value from the user during the running time then you will be converting with the help of parse function into the float and storing into the byte so after this now let's take a character value z is equal to so again character is not a string so we will be converting it how to convert character dot parse and within the argument we will be writing console dot read line function also put a message for a user control c and control v Insert character value. And now again test the message. Insert your sorry. Insert your name. Again name storing it into a name variable name is equal to now there is this time there is no need to convert that value because at the running running time it always considered as a string value so we will be just writing console dot read line so again there is no need to convert the value so we have uh, initialized all these four variables now let's print all these values within one line console dot write line and after this double click uh, integer value is equal to to print all these value within uh, using one write line function or write function you have to put all these uh, string or variable into one line as the argument so how to concatenate all the uh, all of them you will be using the plus from a plus operator then the variable and after this again concatenate and double quotation write the message float value equal to concatenate with a y again concatenate double quotation character value is equal to plus again concatenate z with the plus again plus mean concatenation operator and after double quotation so your name is equal to concatenate with the variable variable name is f. so if we print this value these values you can see a uh, 12 and if you insert the float value 4.5 let's say insert the character value and what is your name and your dollar may be Muhammad So you can see they have printed in one line. The value is twelve. The four value four. If you want to uh, break all these uh, 
values uh, and you want to print on a new line so you have to put a special escape sequence which is called uh, the slash n so slash n will be used to print all these messages and variable in a new line so this escape sequence which is called the escape sequence will be used before the start of the message how to use a slash n within the double quotation you will be using this slash n is used to uh, is used for the end of a line so we have just put the slash n before every message now let's print insert the value which is 12 then insert the float value which is 4.4 let's say insert the character value let's say w and insert your name now you can see each line is printed in a new line so with the help of slash n so students uh, so far we have learned that how to print a message in the c sharp with the help of right line function then we have declared the variables of different data types then we initialize these variables in the source code after this we also initialize uh, these values during running time which we can call it dynamically 